it's possible that Scott Milanovic's era will be coming to an end in Edmonton before it even really began. Former CFL quarterback and assistant coach Marcus Brady was named the Indianapolis Colts offensive coordinator last week, and the team is rumored to be looking at Milanovic as a potential assistant. And where did this come from? NFL insider Jason Lackenfora tweeting this morning with the Colts having openings on their offensive staff. Can't help but wonder if Frank Reich takes a look at Edmonton head coach Scott Milanovic, whom he hoped to hire in the past. Very well thought of quarterback guy, worked previously in Jacksonville. Smart dude. So wouldn't that be something? Scott Milanovic has been the head coach of Edmonton for over a year. And he's never coached a game. I know. Because we had him on a year ago from the CFL Winter Congress in Mont Tremblay, Quebec. And, now, and he's probably going to the NFL, by the way. I would think. This doesn't, I don't think this is speculation out of anywhere. So it's just interesting. It goes back to point three. Like you got the commissioner sending out a warm and fuzzy letter. We're saying we're confident we're going to play. And then you got this. A stink bomb dropped on the CFL on a Monday morning that if, if you're Milanovic, who incidentally had Brady on his staff with the Argos, this is a whole paying it forward kind of thing, football's a small world kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't speak well for the Canadian Football League today. That you're gonna, cause we, You don't want to lose Scott Milanovic's, but he's sitting there going, we don't even know if we're going to play. Back to point three. Yeah. Why the hell wouldn't I go to the NFL with the Colts? I know, right? This yeah. is the. It's not, none of this is the. None of this is the CFL's fault. By the way, I just want to make that clear. No, it's not the CFL's fault. It's not Scott Milanovic's fault nope. either, right? I mean, this is another opportunity for him. And what are you going to do? Not go and then stay and then you don't play, and then you wish you would have went. Yeah, it's a real tough spot to be in. It's a tough spot to be in, and I don't think we can put any blame here uh, in this situation. It's a tough one to assign blame. No, other than whomever, you know, whatever the controls are to <laughs> wipe sports off the map in Canada for a year, yeah. probably a year and a half, two years. So I get that people don't understand or, sorry, don't agree with my pro sports stance. I'm just pointing out the perspective of America and at least we're having some somewhat mature discussions about it, not monkey crap fights on Twitter like most other people. Yeah, I'm just saying there's another way to look at this. Jeff, the Stamps fan, says can't blame Milanovic for this, but it is another black eye for the CFL. Well, I want to say, again, it's not the CFL's fault that they're not playing. That's all that I'm pointing out. doesn't make them look good, but it's not their fault. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.